Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're going to talk about cartoon rendering. Alright, so cartoon rendering it is something very popular for Japanese manga um, cartoons, and you can do it pretty quickly with the shaders installed with Houdini. Comes with a set of two shaders, one for the color of the inside and one for the outline. So let's see how we can use this ones. So you can see that have, I have the final image here and it looks pretty cool, looks pretty 2D, looks pretty fun. We have highlights and everything you need here, but let's start from scratch. All right, so here we are in a new scene. Let's uh, create Roberto to start. And we want uh, no shading on Roberto. There we go. So now, if we go to the material palette here, you can see there's a, lo a lot of shaders here. Let me make this bigger. It's a bunch of shaders that are basically pre presets of the principal shader here. Um, these two in this section, non photorealistic, are the color shader and the tune color shader and the tune outline shader, which are, is the ones uh, that we're gonna use. So let's create one of each. In this, we can just apply directly to Roberto. And we can already see the uh, render. Let me render here. Change this to a render view. Of course, need to create a camera. Fit it into the camera. Let me create a Mantra PBR and render it. It's gonna be huge. So let me just override the resolution here to one third. And you can see Roberto there. It's rendering with uh, that shader. It looks like a cartoony shader. It looks pretty cool. And if we go and tweak the parameters, you can see the parameters are very simple. We have a highlight, a mid color, and a low color. And that's, those are just the uh, colors that's gonna be rendering for each part there. You can, you can tweak how much highlight you want. If you don't want any highlight, you can remove that. Sometimes you don't need a highlight because it makes it look a little bit more 2D, I mean 3D. So you, if you remove the highlight completely, that makes it look a little bit more 2D. Now, but we don't have any outline at the moment. So first, let's put a background here so we don't have, so we're not rendering over black here. So let's create a grid. This is how I do this. Just create a grid. And I'm gonna look in this view, you can see they have a grid there. Just parent it to the, to the uh, camera there. You can see it's aligned to the camera now. But I, I just changed this grid here to be in the C to the X, Y plane. You can see now it's aligned to the camera there. If I go out, you can see it's aligned to the camera. Now I can just move it. It's gonna be aligned to the camera all the time. Just make it, move it all the way back and make it bigger. So this is how I create a background. Then we just go here. There's a constant shader here. That's just gonna render one color. So just drag that to the uh, Playing there, I just have that color all the time in the background. If I move the camera, the color is gonna be linked to the camera, so it's just gonna be rendering that all the time. So that's a trick to get a background in your camera. And if you want any other color, well, you can change that color if you want it. Something like that, maybe. So now it's for to add the outline uh, to the uh, object, you can see we only have one entry for a material here. So if we added the outline to Roberto now, it's gonna replace the old one. It, now we have just that outline and it looks black. So it's weird because we actually need to have two copies of Roberto. So let's just, uh, I'll drag this to make an, a new copy. And th let's assign the uh, outline shader to that. Now you can see we have an outline. And uh, the shader is doing some fancy tricks to expand the geometry, flip it around, and just render the outline there, which is pretty cool. That's what's happening there. And now we have Roberto with outline. And we can see we can tweak the outline parameters. The color, of course, we can have this outline be any color we want. Let's put it to white. It's cool. I like white. And we can change the thickness of the uh, of the color here. Let me switch this. Let me make this the render view. Make this the scene view. So we have there we go. We have a bigger 
preview here. You can see the outline is pretty cool. We can change the outline width with this uh, two sliders. Depends on what you're using. Right now we're using the world space one. If you want to use the image fraction one, you, you need to blend this to the other side. The difference between the two is that the image uh, in the world space one, it's kind of a make it uh, think of it like it is an object that you it's gonna keep the same size when you move the object towards the camera. And you can see the outline kind of grows uh, at the same rate. And with the image fraction, it's gonna stay at the same size, even if you make the object come closer, you can see the, the width of the outline, it's not changing. And that's something that you want sometimes. So just use the the option that you want and, and you can blend between the two as well if you need to, if that is something that you desire there. Also the spill in is how much of this outline is going to spill into the object there. You can see if I start making this higher, you can see it spills here in front of this uh, spikes of Roberto. If I pick it off, you can see it's not uh, getting in here. If I put it up, now it gets all around the object there. That looks pretty cool. It looks like the drawing is not uh, completely uh, correct. And this is how much of that spill is going to be in the object. There you go. It's pretty cool. Now the uh, color, I mean the two color uh, has some more options there. Has some textures here. You can plug some textures apart from just changing the color. You can actually plug some uh, textures here and I have some textures that I uh, found on the internet. But let me see, I don't have a highlight right now. Let me put, you can see they are pretty big right now. My textures are this ones. Let me see, let's, I want to plug that one into the shadows, let's say. And I have a, another one that is going in that direction. In other words, going down there. So, but they're pretty big by default. And we don't have any uh, control of the UVs here or the repetitions, which uh, maybe will be nice to have. You can see there the texture. Let me plug this into another, maybe the mid one. You can see the texture is pretty big there. So what we're going to do is just modify the shader. Never be afraid to modify the shaders. See, this is the shader we're using. We just need to right click on it and say allow editing. Now we can just double click on it and that's what it's the making the shader. And don't be afraid to the, of this, it's just pretty simple. So we're laying a little bit, but it's pretty simple stuff to make sense of. It's just repeating the same thing for the mid, the high, and the uh, low color here. Let's say for the the mid, which is we are in there, and see we have some UV corners plugged into the shader. So we need to multiply this to make the texture smaller or repeat more. It's just uh, create two multiplies there, plug them there, and select both. Oh, not actually a multiply. I want a multiply. Uh, add constant. And I want to plug that. Uh, I'll drag it to move to uh, duplicate it. Select both, and I'm gonna multiply this by let's say five. Now you can see we have more texture there. The texture is repeating more. Let's say ten. Ten's good there. We can do the same for uh, the uh, low. Let's create a new multiply add here. Uh, copy that. Let's put it up to five and plug a texture there because we are not using a texture right now. Let's plug this one. You can see now the shadow looks pretty cool with that texture. I'm going to leave the uh, highlight as like that. And you can see now we already have really nice looking uh, non photorealistic shading here. It looks pretty nice. Maybe we can go up to six in this shadow area looks pretty nice i like it now the other thing you can do 
apart from from uh, adding colors you can actually use the color from the object so let's see in Roberto we don't have any color right now you can see here it's just white down here we can add a color here let's put it maybe to blue as Roberto is and uh, but uh, we are not using the color here you can see if we set use color now the render I'm just restart this render the render is using that color that we set here you can change this color to whatever you want it's multiplying the color and textures and everything by that color we can also with a map uh, attribute for a map we can add the colors back from the texture uh, that Roberto has by default which I have right here this is the texture so I'm just basically adding uh, the, the texture to Roberto there in, uh, in color so let's see how it looks here you can see it just it's just the colors of the texture applied to the vertices so now we can see that here and it's shaded on top of that color which is pretty cool now that highlight it's not looking very nice here so we can remove the highlight if we don't need it let's see no highlights at all it looks pretty nice we can even maybe change the type of the color and that looks pretty more uh looks a little bit more cartoony style looks pretty nice so yeah now that you have this shader you can apply it to whatever object you have let's say a torus and uh, apply that same shader uh, this one now that has the shader duplicate it add the uh, outline to the other one let's re-render it's pretty big so let's select both and make them smaller and there you go that's uh, another object done with those shaders and we can add some color to this maybe purple looks pretty nice and that's it that's cool right making uh, non photorealistic renders in Houdini it's actually very nice so there you go you can use your own textures and uh, apply more different styles to Roberto to your objects and make it look uh, way better also you can go inside the shaders of course and modify uh, and create your own shaders make them do whatever you want like spill between the two gradients and stuff because this is just built here everything is here you can just do whatever you want with the shaders make your shaders look even more fun all right guys hope you enjoy this this is better mix and let's keep learning together and i'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>